This morning, Richard Madeley curses on air sign up for free now for the biggest moments from morning TV subscribe and valid email when you subscribe we will use the information you provide to send you these newsletters sometimes they'll include recommendations for other related newsletters or service our privacy notice explains more about how we use your data and your rights you can unsubscribe at any Madeley 64 was best known for presenting this morning for 23 years alongside his wife Judy Finnegan the TV couple quit the show to front their own channel 4 Pro Program, Richard and Judy, which has also had several sp- Madeley, who appears on the BBC quiz show Pointless Celebrities Today, has often come into the firing line for his opinions about politics. In one argument, Madeley was trolled by Femi Olewole, a Remain voter, for not understanding Brexit. Mr. Olewole, a law graduate from the West Midlands, argued for a second referendum during a good morning. He told Madeley, democracy doesn't fail because the negotiations fail. He believed it was a perfectly legitimate request to compare the final Brexit deal against the benefits of staying within the EU. In 2019, Mr. Oluwole said, We vote to leave the EU, we negotiate our exit from the EU, then we compare the negotiated exit with membership of the EU. The two then got into a heated debate after Madeley was confused over whether the customs union was part of the European Union. Madeley said, They don't think that it does take us out of the EU because it keeps us in the customs union. Mr. Oluwole replied, The customs union is not the European Union. Let's be really clear, what you've just said is in Madeley fired back. The majority of people who voted leave don't agree with you. A lot of people say it's not 100%, just saying it. The trending Mr. Olawole replied, no, no, no. Law says it makes it so, as in I literally studied EU law, we would be out of the European Union, it is literally an exit. After their TV clash, Mr. Olawole wrote on Twitter, Richard Mabley literally doesn't know what Brexit is. His message was retweeted 2,600 times and received more than 10,000 likes. That same year, Madeley vented at Mr. Farage, who went on Good Morning Britain to discuss the Brexit Party's progress. Mr. Farage warned that Prime Minister Boris Johnson was on track to deliver the same Brexit deal offered by his predecessor, Tere. He said, even without the backstop it will cost us £39 billion. It makes it virtually impossible for us ever to leave the customs union. We will not be a free, independent nation. Mr. Farage warned that the Brexit party would stand in every seat in the election to ensure they could hold Mr. Johnson to a In a warning to Mr. Johnson, he said, If you sell us out on Brexit with this awful withdrawal treaty, we will fight you and have made it fired back by citing poll figures that found Mr. Farage's party was dropping in the Conservative Party would. He argued that Mr. Farage could not be right in that analysis because of those that made continue. If he's actually pulling a fast one and he is going to give us the reason they stay, Mr. Farage interrupted to state, because people haven't realized yet. The remark left Madeley fuming before he said, oh, so we are too stupid to see it? Nicola Sturgeon doesn't want independence says Nigel Farage. Mr. Farage responded, no, because it's too or this only began to happen last week. Fans on Twitter relished the exchange and one wrote, Richard Madeley trying to talk down Farage. Hilary. A second added, you can't barrage the Farage. A third wrote, unpopular this may be, but I am beginning to like night talks a lot of set.